The insurance giant AIG, which has received 170 billion taxpayer dollars, will start paying out today 165 million in employee bonuses. The company says it has no choice. A contract is a contract. There are a lot of terrible things that have happened in the last 18 months, but what's happened to AIG is the most outrageous. What that company did, the way it was not regulated, the way no one was watching, what's proved uh, necessary, it is outrageous. We are a country of law. There are contracts. The government cannot just abrogate contracts. Every legal step possible to limit those bonuses is being taken uh, by Secretary Geithner. The message here, I'm afraid, to any business out there that's thinking about taking government money is let's enter into a bunch of contracts real quick and we'll have the taxpayers pay bonuses. Uh, to our uh, employees. This is an outrage. We all know that uh, contracts are valid in this country, but they need to be looked at. Did they enter into these contracts knowing full well that as a practical matter, the taxpayers of the United States are going to be reimbursing uh, their employees, particularly employees who got them into this mess in the first place? I think it's an outrage. No one cares about the shareholders of AIG. No one feels the slightest obligation to uh, people who led us uh, in uh, to these difficulties. Really none. Okay. But they do feel an obligation to do what's right for the American people. So, so these the guys easy are thing, get their The bonuses. easy thing would be to just say, um, you know, off with, their head, off with their heads. You have to think about the consequences of breaking contracts for the overall you, system of law, for the overall financial system. Do you know system. if anybody asked them to voluntarily yes, give I up do. these? Uh, yes, I, I absolutely do. And there was an important negotiation between Secretary Geithner and the chief executive officer of AIG. Mr. Liddy has made clear that he was using all of his authorities, both legal and moral, to uh, reduce the level of these uh, so bonus they, payments. They so no, what can be money. done is be is uh, being done. We're the first people to be angry, so absolutely Secretary Geithner uh, has been furious and has uh, been pushing back, urging them to renegotiate this. Uh, we're pursuing every legal means to deal with it. You know, I think the truth is AIG is just a problem. It's not a problem anyone wants to have to deal with, and it's unfortunately a problem we've inherited and are managing the best that we can. What but, power does the administration have to stop AIG? You know, with the, the administration, certainly as much as possible, I think, you know, there are, there are questions of contracts and what we're able to, to do um, with, with contracts that have been signed. But we will absolutely do everything possible uh, to make sure that the money we put in there is spent in the way we think is appropriate. This is an example of people at the commanding heights of the economy misbehaving. The AIG intervention really predates the, uh, the rescue plan voted by Congress. Uh, the AIG intervention was initiated on its own by the Federal Reserve. They came to us in September of last year and said, we're going to give them the $80 billion. There's been some uh, TARP involvement since, but it's prim primarily been the Fed. And clearly, there was a mistake at the beginning. These people who were receiving this should have been given much stricter rules at the, at the beginning. We need to find out, one, are they legally recoverable? We can't just violate law, legal obligations. I understand that. But I do want to find out at what point these legal obligations were incurred. Uh, who said, and at what point, we're going to give these bonuses no matter what? And I do think it's inappropriate for those people to stay in power at that company.